to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. But for tonight, there are people who the Lord wants to bring out of situations that only God, only God can take you out. Please take it high for me, guys. Someone sing for me Nathaniel Bassett's song, Olawa Gwagwara, in one minute as a prophetic message that the God of wonders is showing up in this place to turn things around. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. Sela bakato branda da basi dada. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's turning things around. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's turning things around. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's turning things around. For my good. Listen, just one prayer point. I like you to cry a cry of desperation you're under an intense anointing tonight i like you to pray that which must live your life this night not tomorrow morning we have other sessions but there are other matters of the kingdom to deal with please lift your voice and cry in faith here at reha ic 2021 lift your voice in the name of jesus call on to the god of wonders and he will show up and work mighty things in your life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the overflows make sure you are praying those following from whatever nation lift your voice and pray let help that gentleman Please help the gentleman under the anointing there. Lift your voice and pray, please. Father, turn my life around. In the name of Jesus, arise, O great one. Show up for me. Silence the voice of the wicked. Once again, may your people see you lifted in my life. Is someone praying? Bring your business before the Lord. Bring your family before the Lord. Bring the issue of concern before your Maker. Shela kaparu skeba na kato shala branda gata skele baru se ne ke pakura hasaraba. Turn my life around in the name of Jesus. Make a statement through my life. Make a statement through my life in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to turn your life to a living wonder in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, For everyone, please help that woman. Pray unto you that answers prayer shall everyone come, all flesh come. Father, visit my ministry. Sign once upon, once again upon my ministry. Let it be clear that I was sent by God. Sign upon my business, O oh God, 
sign upon my children arise as the god of wonders that you are please pray please pray don't waste the session don't be silent I release my faith for a testimony a demonstration of your wonder working power by your outstretched arm deliver me from financial crisis deliver me from sickness deliver me from the jaws of death it says when you pray say deliver us from evil hallelujah hallelujah please listen to me let me encourage you respectfully joining faith with your man of god and his wife please do not miss the remaining sessions of this conference whatever sacrifice you will make make that sacrifice with your heart opened are we together i really sense in my spirit that there are people that god wants to visit very definitely in this conference now let me say this i'm about to pray for you as much as possible let's let's honor the COVID rules there's so much we can only so much we can do but then whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing close to you please do well be your brother's keeper it won't stop you from receiving are we together but there are situations that must change tonight i have five minutes but that five minutes will not be wasted i came in the spirit and the power of Elijah there are some of you who are crying because whilst you are here right now listening to me you are saying can God make a way apostle I've done my best I've exhausted myself listen to me please do not allow the spirit of fear I, I love I love the, the song that I, I think it was worship team or the guest the guest the music minister very powerful casting that fear don't get used to pain don't get used to defeat shake off your fear and your doubt give god a chance tonight you've given many things that are less than him a chance give him a chance tonight a chance to once again surprise you a chance again to once relieve to once again relieve this truth the bible says let god be true and every man a liar i'm telling you it does not take time if your faith can connect god will surprise you tonight it is true When we pray for people, please understand this. It is not some display of anointing from a man of God. The issues of destiny are more serious than that. It is the Lord stretching his hands. Are we together? That man on white, my friend, lift your hands. Take that grace now. I'm seeing and there is something that looks like an, like an arrow on that man. It ends this night. Tomorrow you will stand here and testify. The doors that will open, please help him. Listen, you see, when you are in an atmosphere like this, I want you to be discerning. Be discerning. Know that it does not take time. Let your heart be open. Forget about the vessel in his frailty as human and discern. Discern by the Spirit that this could be the answer to my fasting and prayer. This could be the moment that God has earmarked for my visitation. Believe me when I tell you there is enough grace in this place tonight. To roll that reproach God did not send us we are not we are not he said when I came to you I did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith will not be founded upon Sophia the wisdom of men hallelujah just give me a few minutes I have like five or so minutes no situation will be wasted here now I want to pray for people here. You don't have to come out. And even those under the anointing, we may not have, usually it's the culture to bring them out, but just for us to observe the COVID rules, you just help them where they are. But I want to pray for people here. The Lord is revealing to me that there are people that doors have just refused to open over. Please hear me. 
and release your faith because something is about to happen they've done you've done your best it just looks like this doors close whether in life and ministry and that door would not open if God be God then I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names for everyone here represented that the door to your destiny the door to your lifting the door to your influence there's someone right at the back right at the back i'm seeing fire come upon that person right at the back in the name of jesus christ i declare that door be open now be open now be open now i want to pray i'm seeing fire come on people now listen don't just fall down and stand up discern that what is happening to you is a release i told you the wonders of god come as instruments of deliverance deliverance does not just mean rolling it means separating you with the obstacle that impedes your progress and advancement are we together i want to pray someone is going to run literally like they are chasing you run out now please help the person hold the person so he doesn't enjoy himself this this is this is an apostolic ministry this is what i'm seeing by the spirit the hand of god is coming a few minutes will not keep you long it's not something you can resist this this is the ministry of the spirit here we're dealing with the ministry of the spirit help them please please help that person now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the number 21 and i'm seeing chains chains that means listen oppression is a dangerous thing because when you are oppressed the only thing that moves forward in your life is your age nothing else moves forward you are moving forward age wise but nothing is moving i'm seeing 25 people i wish if there's a way they can bring them and they can arrange them without compromising on covid rules that please because god wants to do something here thank you sir in the name of jesus christ lift your hands please father i'm declaring my god right now let the sword of your spirit upon these 25 people from my left and my right at the count of three in the name of jesus shout that name jesus please bring them here one two three bring them please bring them here we will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord please bring them out I stretch my hands help that gentleman please please whether or not you are an usher just let me have them out in the name of Jesus I'm seeing it come on people's feet it is it's a mighty deliverance that is coming on people please quickly just, just bring them out very quickly you call it the god of wonders that oppressions will stop now i want to pray for there are people here you are standing here but prophetically you are representing families there are families that god wants to set free now in the name of jesus the hand of god is coming upon you families bring them i stretch my hands by the god of heaven every family here represented inside outside following online every oppression that stops the praise of god from being heard from your family and your vicinity in the name of jesus i declare let it be broken now 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 please bring them hallelujah who is david i'm hearing a name david you have a business so that we, we we may not i have to work with that time david i'm hearing a name david who is that david you're an elderly man you're not a young boy is there someone like that oh sir your name is david sir you're in business what do you do sir okay are you a, you're an architect or okay no but you have to do with structures structures this is what i'm seeing so i want to pray for you please don't be embarrassed i'm looking at you ah 
I'm seeing my house. Oh, you've been to my house. I'm seeing you in my house. Oh dear. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. I want to pray for you. Someone will shout now under the anointing, loud to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that person here. There is a strong anointing. So I want to pray for you. What is Agbo? Is this mic working? What is Agbo? Please help us. Apostle, sir, I apologize. I would... What is Agbo? Agbo is the town where the governor of Central Bank comes from. Sir? Agbo is the town where the governor of Central Bank comes from. Where the governor of Central Bank comes from. There is a miracle that is coming for you from that place. I'm saying it in the open. Pray. Listen, let me tell you this. I know that people have abused the prophetic. Let me, I have to say this disclaimer. People have misused it. But please don't you mix the sacrifice of other innocent people who have spent time praying the pies. I think I need to say that because every time we see supernatural things, you see, madam, you are surprised and you are asking, my God, what is this? This man, your wife, you. I'm hearing what you are saying now, madam, this woman. Your, is this your wife? Yes. This woman. She's surprised and I'm hearing her prayer and say, God, I know that this man preaches, but I've not seen that he's in a prophetic dimension like this. And God is saying to speak to you, to know that he's hearing you. And I'm stretching hands on you because that same grace is coming on you now. You will never be the same again. Can I tell you, there are people who fear God sincerely and have paid the price by the Spirit. We have not wasted the grace given to us. I'm saying this with all due respect because sometimes, you know, we just downplay people and think everyone, no, no, this is a ministry with integrity here. Are we together? And so that when you are blessed tomorrow morning when you are coming, as you are seeing this ministration, God is telling you someone who you know would have been here this night. Now it's now up to you to show love, to drag that person and say, suspend this business you have been struggling around. Come and get something that will change your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Sir, in the name of Jesus, can I pray for you, sir? I stretch my hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that anointing comes upon you. That grace for favor. Right now, oppression goes now. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the Spirit of the living God. There is someone here, the Spirit... I don't know if you are in ministry, but I'm seeing a strong prophetic grace. You are a woman, female now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that unction come on you. Please, I want to bring that person out. There is a, I, I, a real dimension of the prophetic. This is a grace that has been following you for a long time. And there is a dimension of that prophetic grace. Bring them out. The wailing women, God is Pastor Opi, thank God you are here. There is a dimension, there are wailing women that God is lifting in this place. I'm speaking by the Spirit of Grace. Here at Roger, here at Reha IC, in the name of Jesus, we release that grace. The God of wonders is moving in the midst of his people, turning situations around. In the name of Jesus, please touch that guy who is near the, the AC. My friend, look at me. The Lord has answered your prayer. Mark the third week of, of March. The third week of March. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the third week of March will be a strange month of lifting for you. The third week of March. Hallelujah. You were to go to Canada, I think October or November, but something happened, you could not go until now, you have not gone. Who is that person? Oh dear. Oh, wow. We will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah i'm seeing a family here truth is you are a blessed family but there is a land issue there is a major i don't mean one a major land issue i don't know if it's that you're having it with um the the authorities who is that because if God does not step in for you, I'm seeing them collect that land, that property. Who is that person? Don't be ashamed. We are, we are people, you are wearing black. You are wearing black like a black. You are a lady. 
this is is there someone like that oh dear my dear you believe in Jesus let me speak like the apostles this is that look at me my dear shout Jesus as loud as you can in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands towards you I command favor favor that overturns favor that overturns receive that grace now both of you in the name of Jesus Christ may the good hand of God come upon you this is the woman I'm talking about come madam you're a member of this church you came from please Victor if you're busy let someone help us do the holding please where's she coming from I'm a redeemed member, sir. please don't come out at random make sure you're no I'm saying where you're in, in this city yes, I live in Abuja. Okay, what's the issue? Because what I'm seeing, hold on. Where is your husband? I'm seeing you walk and in the spirit, I see you walk alone. And I'm seeing that that land is not even your own. That land belongs to your husband. Whose land is it? It belongs to my late husband. And now they want to take that land away from you. And truly, if I don't pray for you, it's even already finished. They will even take it away. But listen, I'm saying it in the open here. That if God be God, this woman you see standing. A miracle is going to happen this week that will surprise you. You will return back to this hallowed altar. And you will testify by the spirit of grace. I stand in faith with Apostle Goodhart and we release grace upon you. May the God of wonders visit you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You do jewelries. That's your business. Jewelries. Who is that person? I'm seeing jewelries. I want to pray for you. We have to close. Please, I am, I am challenging you. This is more than just the conference of a church. This is a visitation to this city. Please listen to me. Make up your mind that tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, you see, there's no need running around wasting time in a profitless labor when God can give you an encounter by investing a few hours of quality, dedicated encounter. Are we together now? Please, I, I want you to make a covenant with God this night that you're going to draw somebody, not just anybody. You know people who really need the hand of God. Why do you go and people defraud you, collect money to work out things when you can come and God can give you a visitation? I don't say it with any attitude of sarcasm, but I'm saying God is giving us an opportunity to be extensions. Extensions. You are a businessman here. You are from Abia State. Who is that? You are from Abia State. No, no, no. I, I don't mean you're interested in business. You are actively, you're a businessman. You are from Abia State. You are a tall gentleman. Oh. It's like, is it that he's a worker in this church or something like that? This is what I'm seeing. Who is that? What do you do? Media. Media. I have to pray for you. You used to do well, but something happened just went down completely it's an attack on you you see that um i'm not going to say everything here but you see mercy can speak let me just leave it at that you understand what i'm saying yes sir please come what do you do i don't know why god is visiting business people this night what do you do sir ah. i'm seeing there is god is connecting you with a company a Korean company please look at me sir you will start doing supplies I'm seeing you like a, a I don't know if it's a distributor of something of I technology items listen you see the challenge with many business people is that when they come to church and God helps them they now look at men of God as if we are out to collect money no you see that God puts us to not only prophesy but to back you up so that whilst you are rising, you remember that you are being protected. The same grace that introduces you to dimensions has been mandated to defend you there. But there is this narrative people sell around that makes it look like men of... Maybe there may be people doing it, but just for you to know that there are people who fear God sincerely. You, you believe what I'm saying? Sir, listen to me. Except God is not God. By September... 
September, the dimension of wealth that is coming to you. Your prayer now should be grace to be consistent with spiritual things while you rise. Because money can distract. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with Apostle Goodheart and in the name of Jesus, we release grace on you. Supernatural grace on you. Ma, I want to pray for you. Are you based here? You're in ministry, ma? I'm seeing a walk in Canada. Oh. This is what I'm seeing. I, I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I'm sincerely sorry. I'm seeing a walk. There is a walk. That, no, no, no. I'm not saying she should answer. I'm just saying that there is a walk that I'm seeing. So the prayer you have been praying, God has answered it. It's the will of God. It's not, it's not, it's the will of God. There is a dimension of work. The surprising thing is that I'm praying for this woman, but the person who will fall under the anointing is in the crowd. Bring that person. Because the same thing God is doing in her, God is doing in that person. Just, just allow me to do my crazy things. Few minutes, I'm off your stage. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone, a lady, the hand of God will come on you. You see, the thing about the anointing is that once the anointing is living, your hunger can draw it to you, even though it was not an issue that related to you. Praise the Lord. Madam, I pray for you. The woman of God is laying hands on you. I release my faith also. And I declare that every hindrance gives way. In the name of Jesus. You are here with your medical report. Please come with it. This is, I just saw someone in a vision. You are here. You, you have your medical report. Let me just pray. We may not be able to take all the time to pray for the sick. But you are here. You, you brought it with you. Please, I want to just pray quickly for that person. So that we'll wrap up. We have to pray. One of, one of the end time weapons of evil destruction, apostles, sir, is cancer. We have to pray and stamp that spirit that is just sweeping across families and the devil is using it to bring a lot of pain. Are we together now? Please, wait. someone here, you, you, you brought your medical... Who is that person? Please. God does not want us to end this service without a visitation for you. Who is that? I'm seeing a couple here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Where are you? you look, look, at what you're not, look at what is happening to her. Look at this. She's not even been prayed for. Look at this. This is the wonder-working power of Jesus. Because that report is an evil report. This is a spirit. It's not sickness. It's an oppression. Please, where's that couple? Don't be embarrassed. You will return with the fruit of the womb. It's, it's, it's not a suggestion. You believe what I'm telling you. You see, before you believe a man, you go and find out. Please make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. We are Christians, please. Make sure you are married in the name of Jesus Christ. Is someone praying? Pray in the spirit in one minute. No, no, don't kneel, please. If couples trusting God, please come stand here quickly. Let's. If you are here, husband and wife, please still maintain social distance. Be sure that you will come and stand on this hallowed altar and let the world know that here at Riha IC, this is the fruit of the manifestation of the God of wonders. All these ones that I've prayed for in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, that which you have come desiring. I'm praying for those under the anointing. In the name of Jesus, you go back with several, several deliverances, several miracles. You will stand on this altar and you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. You can return back to your seat if you can. Those of you standing here, I want to pray for you. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically the mantles of elijah 
Paul and Timothy I want to see that power I command that spirit out of her now in the name of Jesus out out of her now every spirit that is responsible for barrenness of all sorts it must go now please be patient I want to pray for you hold on one of you here is standing for someone not yourself who is that come where is where's the family huh where they are oh your family is at home you are standing for someone your daughter your daughter for marriage for fruit of the womb uh -huh, because I'm seeing what does she have on her throat I did not, she cannot breathe surgery yes you have, huh? surgery. you have been booked for surgery yes. when April 1st yes I'm seeing that there's supposed to be surgery you believe in the power of Jesus what's her name Zoe Zoe yes. what does that mean July 4th. come this is what I call a sign and a wonder you see signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations with messages attached to them why will God pick out a Zoe as a demonstration of the life of God? How old is she? Huh? Three years. You believe in the power of God? You are, you are, you are a member of this church? Where are you from? I have to pray. Ah! Please don't feel embarrassed. There are at least four or five times I've seen this thing whenever I am preaching. Aleku. Do you know anything about that thing? What is it? Like something that's, they say my, my cousin died two weeks ago. Your cousin died two weeks ago. And they said that's what killed him. It was like typhoid, but it was like he was eating his stomach till he died. I have to pray for you because I'm seeing that same thing coming on you. Thank God for a conference like this. My brother, we are not prophets of doom. If God identifies your situation, the reality of redemption speaks over you immediately. Do you understand? We are people of signs and wonders, but we are people of doctrine too. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of him now! Wherefore, the Bible says, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name the bible declares and that that name is above every other name sir in the name of jesus we pray for zoe zoe we speak over your life may your name answer for the bible says whatever adam called it that was the name thereof i release my faith with apostle goodheart in the name of jesus and we declare zoe be healed now we bring you the life and the power of this kingdom we so boast about. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus' name. My media man, in the name of Jesus Christ, you see, the prophetic has always been the tool of restoration. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore. I stand releasing my faith with the man of God and we declare, according to the word of the lord he said master we have toiled all night but i speak to you from tonight in the presence of everyone we give life to your media outfit in the name of jesus we give it visibility in the name of jesus i prophesied job 42 and verse 10 the grace that broke back the fortunes of job because this is what happened to you i decree and declare let it come to you right now sir you are standing here for fruit of the womb but the Lord, what do you do? Huh? I work in the church office. You church office. Yes. I want to pray for you. I just saw a book open over your head and the Lord is saying the book of remembrance is open over you. The Lord is saying for your faithfulness. This is what I'm hearing. You have been a faithful man. I don't know him from anywhere. But in the name of Jesus, the servant of God is laying hands on you and I'm releasing my faith with you. Leave the issue of child first. God wants to... Re to reward you to make a spectacle with your life I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare by the God of all grace 
that from tonight releasing my faith with apostle goodheart number one may your life change in a way that will marvel and surprise you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ now for all of you standing here in the name of jesus i agree with you that every plague of darkness according to the time of life listen this thing is a grace it's not something if it's there is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that i stretch my hands and i prophesy according to the time of life in the name that is above all names return with your children return with your children i speak to you prophetically remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for in this season the lord is doing a new thing in the name of jesus christ the lord is doing a new thing the lord is doing a new thing sir i don't know who this man is but i am seeing you running on a horse the lord is shifting you the, the same thing i saw on this man i'm seeing on you to a book is open over you and are you a member of this church sir you see what god is doing I'm, I'm there is there is something god is doing it's like god is is moving to specific people to also show the faithfulness of service the same thing i saw on this man i'm seeing on you can i pray for you sir i stretch my hands upon you in the name of jesus may grace come on you the grace that makes for speed in the name of jesus christ you will run like elijah you will overtake the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel in the name of jesus for all of you who are here i decree and declare by the spirit of grace return with your miracle children in the name of jesus return with your miracle children in the name of jesus return with your miracle children madam please lift your hands where you are this woman wearing i don't know what color that is is that blue that's lift your hands you are saying lord please let this service not be over without them calling me i stretch my hands the lord hears ah please come please come come look at me you're pregnant i have to pray for you ah in the name of jesus christ they will not tell you there is something in your stomach they will not tell you that you have something that is growing in your stomach i rebuke it now in the name of jesus christ i'm saying it by the please don't be afraid this is god visiting you in the name of jesus i don't care what it is i stand by the grace of god and i declare that it flushes out of your body right now number two the lord is restoring your dreams you used to have dreams you will see things before they happen but something happened and everything just left in the name of jesus i declare by the spirit of god it is over right now in the mighty name of jesus christ we have to wrap up tonight lift up your hands please make sure that tomorrow you come hungry and you come inviting someone and make sure that you come in the evening again with your heart open don't be selfish don't come alone there are spaces i know that we're observing COVID. But there's an overflow that has been made outside pay that price and allow god visit you i stand again releasing my faith with god's servant and his dear wife apostle goodheart and we speak over everyone whose hand is lifted in the name of jesus tonight even before tomorrow morning experience the deliverance of the god of wonders in the name of jesus long-standing issues by the spirit of god be resolved tonight many of you will receive strange calls miracle calls in the name of jesus supernatural ideas manifestations of the spirit renewals of and an and reignition of fire and passion for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ i bless you with the blessings of heaven and i pray that your life will not cease to be a compendium of testimonies be blessed and remain blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage 
for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.